So as an example of Wallace's influence on uh, Newton, I've chosen a page that is uh, dated uh, uh, tentatively to the autumn 1665. Uh, here we see Newton uh, using the binomial theorem. Actually, uh, uh, we find Newton uh, discovering, in a way, the, the binomial theorem. Uh, he's interested in two curves in this page. One is the hyperbola and the other one is the circle. And he's interested in calculating the, the area of the surface bounded by the hyperbola and the area of the surface bounded by the circle. In the first case, uh, the problem is interesting because uh, uh, the squaring of the hyperbola uh, allows Newton to calculate logarithms. We would say uh, that this is a very important uh, uh, result. Uh, a result uh, that was interesting also to other mathematicians, Nicolaus uh, Mercator was working exactly in these years along these lines and was going to publish his results in 1668 in a work entitled Logarithmo Technia. Now, what Newton does here is that he identifies a pattern of coefficients that give uh, uh, the area of uh, easy curves, and in the first case he extrapolates this pattern to ne negative exponents, in the second case, he interpolates this pattern to fractional exponents, because in the first case he's interested in studying the curve whose equation is y is equal to 1 plus x to the minus 1, and in the second case he's interested in calculating the area of the curve whose equation is y is equal to 1 minus x squared to the 1 half, that is, uh, the circle. Um, you might notice at the bottom of this page uh, the arc sin series, a very important result. Newton uh, is able to express the arc sin as a power series. And uh, in later works, uh, by reversing this series, he was able to express the sine series as a power series, uh, the sine as a power series. And uh, so uh, these results are very, very important and uh, uh, they show uh, the influence of Wallace on uh, Newton. Uh, you might notice that Newton uh, is somewhat worried about the cogency of his result, because both results, uh, the one concerning the hyperbola and the one concerning the circle, are uh, given uh, uh, with words that tell us something about Newton's hesitation. He says, uh, the, it may appear that the area of the hyperbola, and later on, it may appear that whatever be the sign, the area of uh, bounded by the circle is, and he writes, uh, an infinite series.